Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Korean barbecued short ribs teriyaki. That's right, we are doing Korean style barbecued beef short ribs, except that we're going to use a classic Japanese teriyaki marinade, which besides being super easy, works incredibly well on this cut of beef. But you know what? Forget all that. Since the real purpose of this video is to make sure you're aware of this kind of rib, which believe it or not only takes about five minutes to grill. And to get started, we'll go ahead and mix up this very fast and easy marinade, which we'll start with some soy sauce. And then to that, we will add some sake, which is of course some Japanese rice wine, which is pretty easy to find. And they sell it in nice small bottles, which makes it very convenient. And then we'll also add a splash of something called mirin, which is also a Japanese rice wine, although lower in alcohol and much sweeter. And if you don't think you can find that, you can. It's usually right next to the soy sauces and rice vinegars at the store. So take a look. And then we'll finish this off with a little bit of brown sugar, some finely and freshly grated ginger root, some thinly sliced green onions, and then last but not least, a little bit of turmeric, which not only is good for you and improves the appearance, I also think it helps tenderize the meat, although I can't prove that which is fine because I don't have to. And that's it, we'll take a whisk and give this a mix. Oh, and while it's not typical to teriyaki marinades, if you want to add some garlic to this, go ahead. That would be fine, as would any other spices or seasonings you want to toss in here. I mean, you are after all the Alicia Keys of your teriyakis. And speaking of girl on fire, if you wanted to add a little bit of heat, some finely minced up habanero or serrano chilies would be beautiful. But anyway, no matter what you use, we'll give it a mix. Before transferring in the star of the show, our thinly sliced Korean style short ribs, which yes, is the exact same cut of beef we braise for hours and hours when it's in like three or four inch size chunks. And because that low slow braising method was the only one I was familiar with, the first time I tried this, I was very skeptical it was gonna work, but it did. And I've been a huge fan ever since. And what we'll do once we're sure those ribs have been coated in the marinade is go ahead and cover this. And we will refrigerate it anywhere between four and 12 hours. And yes, of course you can transfer these into a zip top bag and marinate them that way, but leaving them in the bowl like this is fine. As long as a couple times during the marination, you give them a toss with the tongs, just to make sure they're getting an even soaking. And that's it after an appropriate amount of time in the fridge, which for me was exactly five hours. We'll go ahead and pull those out. And as you can see, they really have absorbed a lot of that marinade. And assuming that our charcoal is ready, we can actually head right to the grill and put them on just like this. Okay, we don't need to dry them off or do anything. We can just put those right down on the grates. And please note my glowing hot, ashy white coals. All right, that's what your charcoal should look like when you put the meat down. Okay, so please remember that old saying that I just made up. If you see flames coming through the grate, you have to wait. So please be patient and wait for the fire to die down until you have nothing but beautiful glowing coals. And as long as our coals are nice and hot, we only need to give this first side about two minutes before we flip them over. Come on, Chef John, you can do it. There we go. And after this first flip, you're gonna be able to see where your hot spots are. And at this point, I like to adjust if need be. And I'm gonna move the ones that were over a hot spot to the outside. And we can replace it with one that might not be as caramelized, which in the business we call the old switcheroo. And that's it, we'll give the other side a couple minutes as well, and then evaluate. And if you want at any time while these are grilling, also known as barbecuing in much of America. If you have some of that marinade left in the bowl, we can go ahead and brush that on to give these a little more of a glaze. Although that is optional, and these are gonna be beautiful without it. But I did paint on a little bit, because why not? And basically that's it. Once both sides have cooked for a couple minutes, I like to flip them over one more time, just to give that marinade I painted on another minute to sear. And that's it, believe it or not, in just five minutes or so, our Korean barbecue short ribs, teriyaki style, are ready to pull off the grill. And if you're thinking, how can something that takes hours and hours to braise until it's tender can be cooked in just five minutes? Well, you know what? That is a great question. But it really does work, and work incredibly well. Oh, and as far as the sauce goes, you don't need one. Okay, all I do is take some of the accumulated juices from the plate and just brush or spoon those over the top, after which we are ready to plate up, which I did with my bare hands because I'm a bit of a savage. And I serve that quite predictably with some rice and some nice cold crunchy coleslaw. And then I finished up with a little bit of sliced green onion, which I know look like chives, but they're not. Those are just some little baby green onions from our garden. 
And for a final touch, I scattered over some coriander flowers, also known as the flowers from a cilantro plant. And I would have actually used cilantro, except the plants had bolted and flowered. So despite them, I decided to use the flowers, which I thought looked great, even though they didn't have a ton of flavor. And that's it, my Korean barbecue short ribs, teriyaki style, were ready to enjoy. As soon as we complete my favorite step, which is the scissoring of the beef. Oh yeah, you're going to want to serve these with some scissors on the table, so your guests can cut between the bones, which makes these very, very fun and easy to eat. Or if you're not into fun, just serve them with a knife. That will work also. And that, my friends, for something that's so simple and easy to prep, and as you saw, only takes like five minutes to grill, just comes out so juicy and scrumptious and flavorful. It really does seem almost too good to be true. And if you're wondering if it really is tender, well, no, it's not. At least not falling apart fork tender, like a braised short rib would be. But it is not tough either. Okay, while there is a little bit of chewiness involved, it is not off-putting in the least. And unless you're having some kind of denture issues, I think these are very user-friendly and extremely pleasurable to eat. Okay, I would kind of compare it to something like a skirt steak that's not like melt-in-your-mouth tender, but that's so flavorful and meaty and beefy that nobody cares it's not soft. And again, when was the last time you got to eat meat cut up with scissors? Which, of course, all the kids are going to love. And they'll remember this. And then like 40 years from now, they'll make this for their kids, who will remember it because of the scissors and show it to their kids. And boom, just like that, you've left a meat-based legacy. Nice going, Grandpa. Oh, and I should mention, if you call the butcher to see if they have these, in the world of the meat cutters, these are often referred to as flanken style. So if they don't know what you mean by Korean style short ribs, just mention the word flanken, and they should know what you're talking about. And if they don't, you just tell them, this is unflanken believable, and hang up. And then call another butcher. But I'm sure you'll find some one way or the other. And once you have, I really do hope you give this a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.